Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week in our most recent poll on the channel, I asked you another question. And last week's question was, do you use third-party apps, Windows built-in tools, or both to maintain and optimize your Windows PC? And out of the 445 votes cast to date, as we can see, 63% of you, the majority of you, including myself actually, I also fell into this category. We say we only use Windows built-in tools like Storage Sense, Defragmenter, and so on. 31% of you say you use both. So that's third-party apps and Windows built-in tools. And the minority, only 7% of you say you use um, only uh, third-party apps like CCleaner and other optimization apps. Now, I'm actually quite glad to see that only 7% of you are using third-party apps. And my reason for saying that is because, as I've mentioned previously on the channel, um, personally, I've found that since I've stopped using third-party apps to optimize and maintain and um, so-called speed up my Windows um, PCs, 99% of my Windows um, issues and problems have disappeared when it comes to the operating system. And for many years, I used to find myself in this category. I used to use both third-party and Windows built-in tools. And since I stopped using any third-party tools of any kind to maintain my Windows operating systems, as mentioned, um, the majority of the issues I used to experience, mainly with Windows Update and blue screens of death and just little niggly issues that I couldn't actually explain or fix, most of those issues have disappeared. And I suggest sometime, if you are still finding yourself in the category of only using third-party apps, try it out. Uh, get rid of those third-party apps and uh, try just using the built-in tools. And I'm almost guaranteed that, as I mentioned, 99% of your PC problems, especially with Windows Update, will be resolved and will no longer be an issue for you. Now, something else just to take note of. Um, a lot of these so-called companies advertise registry cleaners, third-party registry cleaners to so-called speed up your Windows PC by cleaning out your registry. Now, um, just something to take note of. That's a lot of nonsense. Um, registry cleaners cannot speed up your Windows device. And um, registry cleaners will most probably do more harm to your operating system than good. And they will actually cause more issues than they are actually trying to fix. And uh, um, what I found with registry cleaners, even the the registry cleaner that's bundled with CCleaner, which is actually a very mild registry cleaner. But even um, that CCleaner registry cleaner, um, it can strip your Windows PC and your Windows operating system of important registry entries, which maybe today are not needed. So then it just it cleans those out. But maybe in a month's time, your Windows update, as an example, may need that registry entry and it's no longer there. So it means that a certain app or that Windows update cannot be installed as an example. And then you get your your update issues as in looping or the update won't install or blue screens of death. So just avoid registry cleaners. That's a no, that's a no, no. Don't go to registry cleaners. They cause more issues than they are trying to fix on Windows. Now, as I've mentioned previously, um, I have posted a couple of videos on how you can actually use the built-in tools that come bundled with Windows 10 and Windows 11 to maintain and optimize your Windows PC. And I'll leave a couple of those in the description. Now, um, just to do a quick recap, um, a lot of the um, third-party apps actually just duplicate um, cleaning tools that are already found in Windows 10 and Windows 11, as an example. So you've got Storage Sense, which will help you clean out junk and temporary files, as an example. You've got your disk cleanup, your legacy disk cleanup, which will more or less do the same thing. Then you've got your uh, disk defragmenter, which you can use on an old mechanical hard drive. I wouldn't suggest using a disk defragmenter on an SSD, but if you are running an older mechanical hard drive, then I would um, suggest regularly um, optimizing your um, your disks using disk defragmenter. And then we also get our built-in Windows tools, where, as an example, you can maintain your services, you can your system configuration, like your startup apps, and so on. Your task scheduler, where you can you can tweak and enable and disable tasks that maybe you do not need or don't need. So all these built-in tools are just duplicated to some extent or the other in those third-party apps. And as mentioned in my personal experience, I've just found that those third-party apps cause more harm than they are actually trying to, and more harm than the good they are actually trying to achieve on your system. And as mentioned, that was in line with last week's poll. Um, do you use third-party apps, Windows built-in tools, or both? 
to maintain and optimize your Windows PC. And as mentioned, I'm very happy to see that most of us actually use the built-in tools, which I think is the safest and best option. And as mentioned, I'll leave videos down below in the description if you'd like to know how you can actually optimize and maintain your Windows PCs using the built-in tools only. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.